Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the Playwright config file and what all test configuration is possible or what all possibilities are there in Playwright configuration. This is the basic introduction of the Playwright config. I'll cover Playwright config file in more detail as and when there is a need for a specific topic to be covered that will require test configuration to be configured, right? But overall at a high level, I think this is the right point or right time in this series for you to understand the Playwright configuration and how you can configure the different test configurations and then in the next video I'll cover how you can do the multiple browser or you can execute your test cases on multiple browsers. So test configuration within Playwright is absolutely simple. If you go within your project structure you will see that as as and when you create a project or Playwright project you will see the playwright.config.js file being created and if you'll go through the details there is a lot of information that is there but on a high level let me quickly go to the documentation and show you what exactly are the configuration options and how you can go ahead and understand and do the configurations as and when or whatever information is required. So what exactly is the Playwright configuration? It's basically to configure how your test cases will be run. Okay, so you can you can configure the timeouts in the Playwright config. You can configure different proxy options if if it is required for a particular bro uh, browser browser context option. Uh, whether you want to execute your test cases in headless mode or headed mode, that all you can configure configure in the playwright config and that config is at a global level it 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 is applicable for all test cases unless until you go ahead and say in a particular test case you want to override that right so if you want to override in a particular test case you specify whatever new values you want to take for that particular test only if you do not specify any specific configuration in a particular test the playwright config default configuration that you will set up in this configuration file playwright.config.js that will take effect okay so what exactly are the options so if you see basic configuration now your file playwright config uh, playwright.config.js will have something like you know a defined config or if you go to the latest which we have here right so we have defined config and device and which which is basically you know uh, it, it requires playwright test so library and what exactly we are doing here we are defining different test config so within test config you will see there is a test directory right so these are some of the default configurations that will be by default there when the project is set up because that is required for your most basic test cases to run test directory is the directory where your test will reside right now say for example you do not want to keep your tests at the test level right you want to keep some folder structure you can specify your test directory accordingly in the test directory tag here right you want to execute the run in fully parallel make it true or false right so there are some attributes that you can go ahead or that are available in the playwright config that you can go ahead and define within the configuration right so these are the default config so retries forbid only workers reporter right so reporter by default you will have the html reporter and there are other default reporters as well for example list and json which i have configured here so you can have html playwright html default report you can have a report in a list format or you can have a json report where the output format you want to specify for example i want to specify the name of the file at the root project root level uh, this this should be the name of the json file right so these are some of the basic configuration that you see here the reporter then you have use okay so let's go to the documentation so these are some of the common configurations so reporter will be something like this right but you can have or you can provide multiple reports or reporters within array format similarly there are options for other options as we are not going into too much detail in this particular video i just want to cover the basic structure of this file so you understand what is in there and how you are going to configure okay then in the use section right in the use section you will see that you have you can configure the base url and other options then you have the project section okay 
and then the web server. So if you go into the detail here, you will see different options there in the documentation and what exactly it helps us to do. So if you go to the project section, it will run test in multiple configurations or on multiple browsers. So you can define different projects. For example, a project for Chrome, a project for Firefox, a project for mobile devices, right? A project for your Safari and then your test cases will run accordingly. Similarly, reporter, you can re configure multiple report that are available within playwright okay retries you can configure so there is a retry option there as well which will help you to configure the retry attempts for your test execution if say for example the test case failed then how many times you want to retry the test cases the failed test cases right test directory is the directory where your test files reside right as we just checked here right so my tests reside in the test folder which is at the root project level right so dot forward slash tests this is the folder where all my test cases are so that's how when you run the command npx playwright test that's how it identifies it it checks in the configuration file right and then from that configuration file it goes and sees okay where's the test directory and within the test directory what all test cases are there and then accordingly picks those test cases spec files and starts executing okay if you specify if you do not specify any specific file name and you just say test will straight away go in here and execute all the test cases that are present in here okay now moving to the next section okay the use section options with use now what exactly is the difference here so if you go to the basic configuration here let me go to this file okay so here at the top you will see this at the global level here in the defined config these the test directory fully parallel these are more of a test runner sort of configurations right now in the use section okay this is also a test config but this is more of a shared settings for all the projects right so in the projects you can see here you have the projects wherein you can configure project for different browsers for example we have a name chromium and which uses desktop chrome then we have have project name Firefox right so at the moment it is commented I can go ahead and comment if I want to run or execute the test case on Firefox as well right and then the web kit for Safari desktop Safari so these are certain projects that that I can go ahead and not only this I can configure projects with different name and different configurations which I'll cover in later tutorial but as of now just to give you a brief introduction of this particular file i'm just covering these briefly so this use section that you see here right so this is shared settings for all the projects that are below and in the use section you can specify for example you know the viewport the launch option you want to go ahead slow motion uh, and you want to specify the trace you want to have the screenshot on when the test cases are executed or not you want to have the screenshot off for the project that are there then in the context options you have in the use section if you go you will see all the details or all the options that you can go ahead and use and you do not have to just make sure you understand the concept understand the file things might keep adding changing in this particular file moreover more 80% of the time things will remain similar but there is a possibility that you you cannot memorize all of the options that are available right for that the documentation is there so you need to understand how you can can use read the documentation and apply understand the structure right for example now if I have to go ahead and configure something new I'll straight away go ahead go to the basic configuration of if I have to go to the filtering test or advanced configuration I can go ahead and configure for example in the use section I know I can specify base URL I can specify trace what else I can go ahead and specify for that I'll go and go to the use section right and in the use section you will see different options that will be available okay so for example if you see this use right so the test option right it's a, it's a type test options and within there you can have many options to configure test and more browser browser context and more and then you can use test config dot use within there you can specify for the project whether you want to have headless viewport ignore HTTPS errors exactly all of that you can specify you can also specify some of these configurations at the 
test runner level but there are options to specify in the use sections as well okay so you'll see all of these details in the right hand side you can specify all of this where in the use section right so for example i want to have the browser name right so this is there right so this is the property that i can use where in the test option because uses what uses if we go back test config use is of type test option and whatever is there in the test option i can use in the i can use that within the use tag right so if i say channel okay let me go here and i'll show you how you can it will give you auto suggestion as well so if i go ch you will see auto suggestion coming here right color scheme channel if i type start typing a accept download action timeout right so if that property is available within the use in the documentation and you need it in your project go ahead and use it and that's how you go ahead and configure once you understand the file right that's that's how i have gone ahead and changed all of these details which are very basic ones in this particular file right now below that you have the projects wherein i have anyways briefly covered that projects you can configure for major browsers for your execution to happen on different browsers right for example at the moment we are just executing on chrome you we can uncomment this firefox or the webkit or against the mobile viewports playwright also supports not the real mobile mobile devices but mobile viewport so your browser will be resized as per the viewport of a mobile device and then accordingly your test will execute okay so for example if i go ahead and uncomment this uh, multiple comments there so if i remove there so if i want to execute against say for example this particular device mobile chrome and let's say i comment this one okay so now in my project configuration and i can have multiple everything turned on right Right. so i at the moment i am uncommenting and commenting just to show you but everything in the project can be uncommented and then from the command line you can control from the continuous integration uh, pipelines you can control what exactly you want to execute you do you want to execute on all the browsers with all mobile viewports or on specific ones which i'll cover uh, in in multiple upcoming videos but say for example i have want to execute on this mobile viewport right uh, some of the test case so let me go and try executing this test Test. so i've just specified npx playwright test and the test name right so let me move this up here i'll clear it okay so this is the test fixtures and context specs and i am running it in the headed mode right so i have specified on the command line you can also override from the command line your test configuration so whatever playwright configuration i am covering you can basically override that from the command line using passing the arguments in the command line right so let me execute this and see that mobile viewport option gets launched so you'll see mobile chrome and you'll see that particular viewport has been taken care on my screen right so you'll see that's how basically you can go ahead and configure within the project and that's why this playwright config understanding of this is very important and you'll see rcv report.json got created at the root, rel root level and where is it from this is basically from the file configuration that we have done right so we have done the report configuration in here as well okay so i have the html report so html report got created the list report got created and the json report also got created with the output file with this particular name right so this is how you are going to go ahead and configure and play around with the playwright config what i would recommend now is that i have covered a lot of details about this playwright config the basic ones especially and some of the advanced one i'll highly recommend you guys to go ahead play around with the config understand the structure right and toggle the values true false use multiple different options and then try to run your test cases that will give you a lot of confidence in how this configuration happens and how the configuration can be done for your project for the browser and executing test cases on multiple different projects okay so i would like to show you the list report as well so you'll see this tick thing here that's basically how the list report will look like on on the screen you will see it, depending on how many test cases are you will see different uh, test cases marked as pass or fail in just a list format that will be available in the list report html report you can go ahead and launch npx playwright show report and it will open the html report and json we have just seen there are other report formats as well that you can go ahead and configure in the playwright config play around this is the documentation there's nothing special that i'm covering that is not available online basically it's all there you have to go ahead dig in the documentation do not try to memorize everything that will kill all of the 
creativity i would say use your creativity your thought process in understanding the basics how you are going to tackle the problem how you are going to use it to solve the overall framework structure and use it not memorizing things right so that's all for this video in the next one i'll cover more details about playwright config and how you're going to run your test cases in multiple browsers okay thank you see you in the next one